Well, a very good morning from the Costa del Autumn this morning, even though it's the calm after the storm, which is cool. Uh, remember to drop me a like in down below. Uh, I appreciate that very much. Give us a click of the button. It's always appreciated to comment if you let me know how you're doing um, as well. is always great. And don't forget as well, um, we have um, our... 28 day transformation program at our women's only group fitness program which is outdoors now this program um i'm going to put the price up in october um so if you want to get involved um then comment with 28 days below and i'll send you all the details we'll have a chat and see if we can help or if you know anybody that you think it might be suitable for feel free to tag them in so christmas is cancelled though as you know the world's a horrible terrible place um, and we're all oppressed and um, it's horrible and um, basically we've got all these restrictions that have come in uh, now um, which look like they are uh, going to cancel Christmas <laughs> uh, on a serious note um, you know obviously what what's happening in my opinion is they're having to put restrictions in place regarding social interactions because they don't want to cancel um, or, or, or cancel any business things to, to sort of harm the economy too much. Um, so I'm not going to give any of my opinion on COVID. I think a lot of time has been wasted on on this. A lot of people waste a lot of time and energy trying to fight things, fight battles they can't win. Because we don't make the rules. You don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. So you either adhere to the rules or you don't. If you don't, that's fine. That's your choice. Uh, you know, you are technically breaking the law. It's a bit windy. Apologies. Um, but in certain areas, but that's your choice. But anyway, so... I'm, I see a few posts about this year doesn't count, okay, which is a bit silly because at any point, as of course COVID has proved and these things prove, at any point any of us could drop down dead and we have to accept that. So I think saying something like this year doesn't count is a bit, is a bit silly because I think it does because it always does and there's always a lesson to learn and always something to do. So if, for example, we work on the basis that Christmas is cancelled, um, then like I've said to our ladies at our programme, well... Here's a good idea. Why don't we use the rest of this year to get in shape? Because a lot of people have lost most of this year anyway because of lockdown. So they lost the first half of the year because of lockdown, which made them put they put weight on, which probably means you haven't got the luxury now of going and hiding away for five months and putting even more weight on. So if Christmas is cancelled, we really might as well get in shape and do something positive. Because obviously, I, I, it depends on the individual situation, but I know a lot of people... Um, would have saved quite a bit of money this year because they wouldn't have been on holiday and whatever else. And obviously, if you've been financially impacted by the uh, by the pandemic, then of course that's not you. But a lot of people would have actually saved money just because of not being able to do a lot of things that cost money. So why not invest in yourself for the rest of the year? Why not say, well, actually, um, I'm gonna you know use the rest of this year to maybe get in better shape because I've lost a lot of it anyway. So you know. We're very limited on what we can do socially, so why not look after yourself a bit better? Why not make those changes? Why not do that? Um, of course, I'm biased, because I think we should. Uh, and I'm saying that after, like I said yesterday, a week in Poland of drinking vodka and eating cake. But, you know, why not? Why not use it as an... Why not use the rest of this year to finish it off positively so you don't be one of those people who just fits into the same old rhetoric that everybody else is going through which is this whole everything's terrible everything's terrible this year doesn't count it's been tough it's been hard i'm self-employed christ i know that but you've still got i think yesterday i worked out there's 14 weeks till the end of the year 14 weeks you can do a lot of good stuff in that time in your life with the facilities and the and with the resources you have available and like tony robbins said we don't lack resources we lack resourcefulness so why not go out and finish the year strong? Why not go out the finish the year and get yourself in good shape physically, mentally, do all those things? You've got the time. Um, you know, we are limited in what we can do, which is unfortunate. But like I said at the start of the video, you don't make the rules. We don't make the rules. So you can keep moaning, keep using all your energy to get angry and moaning about the problems. Or you can go out and do something about it. So like I said, 28-day program. Um, we're, we're accepting applications now. Price goes up on the 1st of October. So if you want to get involved, all you need to do is comment below 28 days and I'll send you the details. Women Only Fitness Program, fully COVID secure. Uh, and we've got um, track and trace in place because we keep contact details for all of our members. Um, if, of course, that's not you or you don't want to get involved, I'd appreciate as always a like down below. Click the button, drop me a like and drop me a comment in. Let me know how you're doing. Share the video or tag anybody in that you feel this video might benefit. Let's have a good day.